Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to be asked to uh, uh, figure out the following problem. We're being asked to plot each of the following on the number line. We're being asked to plot 2 5 fourths, 3 times 1 half, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, and 2 minus 1 tenth. Well the first thing that we have to do is really understand what is being asked of of each of these uh, these numbers. So 2 we know is two holes, so we could put that right there if we needed to. Uh, but if you look at the denominators here, so we have holes, we have fourths, we have halves, we have fourths, and we have tenths. So we'd have to imagine that there would be uh, a number line with fourths, a number line with holes, a number line with halves, and a number line with tenths. And I've created that right above here for us to look at number line with fourths, halves, and tenths. And then the whole numbers are also listed on these on these sequences. So we to plot uh, two, we would put um, we would put a point right where two holes were, because this is what two means, two holes. So this would be one hole and two holes. So we put a point right there. If we have five fourths, that means it's the fifth copy of units that we call fourths. So therefore, uh, the distance, the interval from here, from zero to this first tick mark is what one fourth is. We're looking for five fourths. So therefore, uh, we're going to count five fourths. So this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, five fourths. Sorry, let's try it again. One fourth two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths, there we go, which is also a whole, and five-fourths. So therefore, this is where five-fourths is located. It's located right there. And on this number line, I'll just move it to its same position right there. And that would be five-fourths, and we can label it as such. That would be five fourths. Okay, let's go to the next one. Three times one half. Well, three times one half just means three copies or three groups of one half. Um, so this would be one half here. From here to here is one half. Here to here is two halves, which is also one whole. And then three halves, which is right here. So if I put a point here, this is where three halves is located, right here. And I'll just move that right down there. And I will label that as three times one half. Which is also three halves. Okay, and I'll put a marker here just so we can know that that's where it is all right okay next uh, then it's three-fourths plus three-fourths that means it's uh, three-fourths put together with three-fourths again so we're going to be coming to this uh, this envisioning of what the number line is and we'll count three-fourths first one two three-fourths and remember the we're counting the the, the space between, not the actual marks themselves. So this is one, two, three fourths, and then three fourths again, putting that together. One, two, three fourths. Or you can see it as this is six fourths, so you'd go one, two, three, four, five, six fourths. As we can see, six fourths is also at the same point on the number line as. Uh, three halves, which is three times one half. So let me just move this this down a bit, and this is also the same point on the number line. So this is also three fourths plus three fourths. Okay, so we can say that three times one half and three plus three fourths are equivalent. Um, because they are the same point on the number line. Uh, also, they have the same size as well. All right, 
And then this last one, 2 minus 1 tenth. Well, uh, using my, my knowledge of what uh, subtraction is, it means start at 2 and uh, go to the left for 1 tenth. Uh, so I would have to imagine that I'm, I'm on a number line where there are tenths. So I would come to this one, and I would start at 2, because this is where the whole number 2 is located. And I would simply subtract 1 tenth from that. Uh, and let me just show you that these are tenths. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tenths. Make one whole. Let's just uh, check to make sure that these are tenths as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tenths as well. So we would, we would say that this is uh, 20 tenths. And I would subtract 1 tenth, which is 19 tenths. And that would put me right here. So uh, if I followed my marking all the way down, right there is where 2 minus 1 tenth would belong. Right there. And that's where 2 minus 1 tenth resides on the number line, which is really 19 tenths. So I hope that th through this exercise you were able to see um, how to plot points on the number line, which is uh, something that um, you can build upon with the third grade skills of plotting points on the number line.